Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, so I'm going to do a reading on Teddy Parks. I didn't know who he was. Um, somebody asked me to do a reading to see if he's dating anybody from Blackpink. Uh, I looked him up, and immediately I was like, that is one man. <laughs> he is He is a manly man. <laughs> I'm not into rap or anything like that, but oh boy. I saw his picture and I was immediately drawn to him. Anybody out there, you can tell him I'm single and, you know, looking. <laughs> he's he's a hottie. Holy hell. And he's close. I mean, I'm 52. I looked him up. He's born in 1978, so he is 52, uh, 42. So he's 10 years, you know, nothing wrong with a younger man, right? <laughs> so um, for anybody that is uh, new to my channel or is just coming across this video, I'm a clairsentient and clairvoyant. I do private readings as well. So if anybody's interested in purchasing a private reading, I read people and I read faces. So that's where I shine and I do my best work. I pick up people's energies, their vibes, um, you know, that sort of a thing, emotions. So if you want to know about somebody that you're in a relationship with, I can read uh, energies between them between you or whoever right okay so back to teddy parks he is one he is one <laughs> he's a sexy man that's for sure what do i usually call it a uh, sexy piece of man meat that one so okay so um teddy parks they want to know if he's dating anybody from blackpink i don't think so i think a lot of these people of course because they're in k-pop they travel in the same groups, same circles. So they know of each other. They're, they're acquaintances. Some of are even, some of them are even friends. Like, you know, Jungkook and Rose, I feel that they're friends, but they are not dating. So I don't feel like Teddy is dating any of the girls from Blackpink. I think there's quite, um, uh, age difference there. And I feel that they like to keep it, um, pretty, pretty separate. They like to keep their, their, private lives separate from their careers, from their work lives. You know, I feel like a lot of them uh, mainly will date someone. If they're going to date, it's going to be someone that is not in the limelight. I feel that Teddy is quite influential. I'll just do a reading on him. I feel like he's quite influential in, in the world of K-pop. I don't know if he produces uh, but I feel that people come to him looking for advice on how we're going to do this song, how we're going to produce, how do we push the band, you know, the girls, the guys, you know, BTS, whoever. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about it. So, um, uh, I mean, if somebody can light me to see if he does do any producing and um, working with the bands, you know, in their with their music. So he's. I just feel he's very influential. And he's got a lot of, um, he's got a lot of experience and understanding of the business. So, um, I feel that, and he's, he's quite, her, like, he's charismatic. Can you guys, can, can you guys tell I'm falling in love? <laughs> he's charismatic and he's got confidence, but I think he's a nice guy. He's got a very quiet confidence about him. It's like, yeah, he's been around a long time, but yet he's not going to be, you know, you look at someone like Kanye West, if anybody knows in um, Asia who Kanye West is, he's quite abrasive and pushy and I'm the man, I know what I'm doing, I know how to do it, where I feel like Teddy, like people come to him and he's very quiet about it. It's like, these are my suggestions, but he's not pushy. He just, he just has, he just gets respect naturally. Okay. I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know. Um, like he's 42 years old. I don't know if he's ever been married or anything like that. Um, but I, tr I truly don't feel like he's dating any members of, the, of Blackpink. Maybe they work together. They might have a close working relationship. So I feel it is more just work related. Okay. Let's just see what's coming up for him with, um, work. What are his messages? Met the messages regarding career. <clears throat> what are the messages for Teddy Park? All right. What are the messages? What are the messages 
for Teddy Park's career. Let's see what the messages are for Teddy Park's career. <clears throat> what are the messages for Teddy Park's career? What are the messages for Teddy Park's career? What are the future messages for Teddy Parks? What are the messages regarding Teddy Parks? What are the messages? And he's a Virgo. His birthday is September 14th. I looked that up. So he is a Virgo. Okay, so what are the messages for Teddy Park's career? We have the Two of Wands, which talks about um, options. He's weighed, this is about, he's got some plans that are going on. He's going to be making some choices. This is about traveling. He might be traveling soon. Um, two of Wands. I'm just going to go to the book for deeper meaning. Two of Wands talks about partnership plans, choices, travel. Um, this talks about he might partner up with somebody. So even if he partners up with somebody from Blackpink, which I doubt, but this, I mean, this is partnering up, working together. Partnerships are favored now too, and you have the support around you. The two, the two wands can also represent um, a leap into exciting new territory. So he might be doing something different, but he's got lots of choices and he's looking at which way to go. Okay. All right, we have the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups talks about someone who's a Prince Charming, okay? So I believe he offers. He, he offers a lot when it comes to work. He's there. I feel like, I feel like he is, um, uh, he's so experienced that people come to him. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but there's the Page of Cups, all right? So um, he makes offers to people, helping Helping people. Uh, Page of Cups talks about uh, news, fun, opportunities. They're sensitive. Um, it's about going into creative phase. And lots of social opportunities. And he's got some new relationships on the horizon. I think this is work-related. Okay? So there's also good news about projects. So he's got some news coming up regarding projects. He's going to be starting some new projects up, partnerships. And then we have the Seven of Wands. So this card here is about um, dishonesty. It's about betrayal. He might have to be careful. Someone might kind of... Uh, eh, Seven of Swords talks about dishonesty, theft, transgressions, mistrust. It's a thief card. It tells you to protect your ideas, your homes, and your possessions from opportunists. So he might have to protect, somebody might try and take away one of his ideas. He has to protect it. Okay. It reveals an atmosphere of mistrust and a need for vigilance. So, and it's about keeping your wits about you and guard what is rightfully yours. Okay. So he has to, he has to be careful. Somebody might take an idea of his, um, yeah, he has to protect his ideas and guard it. Okay, and let's see what the future love messages are. What are the love messages for Teddy, my boyfriend? What are the messages for my boyfriend, Teddy? All right. What are the messages for Teddy? Future love messages. Future love messages for Teddy. What is coming for Teddy in love? Future love messages for Teddy. Future love messages for Teddy. Future love messages for Teddy. Love messages for Teddy. I'm just waiting for one card to fall out. Future love messages for Teddy.
okay? So um, what are the future love messages? There's the lovers. Someone's going to come into his life. This also represents a sign of Gemini. Gemini. It could be a Gemini woman. But this is about, it's going to be a deep love uh, partnership. This is past life connection, soulmate connection. Lots of, lot. you can see all the water. Water in tarot represents um, emotions. So it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling this relationship for him. Then we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands, with it is going to come sort of a stress, exhaustion, lots of responsibilities, maybe a burden. I know you fans have a hard time with these people when they start to date. So I feel like this is him carrying some sort of a burden with this relationship. Okay. And then, but in the end, there'll be victory. Okay. After this burden, after carrying it all, here's the victory. Okay. Okay. So the Six of Wands is about victory, awards, recognition. It's, there's going to be some good news here regarding the relationship, okay? So this is really nice. It could be a Gemini woman. All right, there you go. Okay, that's the reading on Teddy Parks. He, I don't believe he's dating anybody from Blackpink. I mean, he's 42, and the girls from, from Blackpink are in their 20s, are they not? So, I mean, that's a big age difference. I don't feel like he's attracted to women that are much younger, and I don't think any of these girls are attracted to him. I feel they have some sort of a working relationship, um, but that's all it is, is a working relationship. Okay? All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, comment, um, thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And um, I'm also going to put my PayPal down below. If anybody would like to make a donation, they are welcome because I don't get much from YouTube. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.